now he's got eagle eyes that actually move. On the lookout for action. Up in the mountains. Down in the jungle. He drops from the skies. And rises from the depths. He's all action. Look out for all these fantastic uniforms specially designed for... Action Man. And his eagle eyes. In the early 1970s, Palitoy upgraded the basic Action Man figure, first with flocked hair, and then gripping hands. And in 1975, Hasbro introduced their own with moving eagle eyes. Introducing the intruders, strong men from another world. The intruder is the enemy of G.I. Joe. There's Eagle Eye G.I. Joe with moving eyes. The intruder rushes Joe. But you can counter with Joe's Kung Fu grip, and you can make them battle. Imagine who's going to win. The intruder is the enemy of G.I. Joe. A quick flip, and you can make Joe get the intruder right where you want him. But you can imagine they'll meet again. The intruders, strong men from another world, and Eagle Eye G.I. Joe with moving eyes, each sold separately. In 1977, Eagle Eyes were introduced into the Action Man range, with the resulting figure known as the Hybrid, combining 1960s body, with flocked hair, dripping hands, and moving eagle eyes. Eagle eye figures released in 1977 included Sailor, Helicopter Pilot, Adventurer, and Soldier. A lever at the back of the head moved side to side, accutating the eagle eyes. The head itself was redesigned, being made larger and made of injected moulded PVC plastic. Moulded in two parts to allow installing of moving eye mechanism. Heads were available in brown or blonde flocks with bearded versions of both and with blue eyes as standard. The basic soldier uniform was retained but with some detailed changes. Note subjectivity should be applied to uniforms of this period with much mixing of old and new components. The sweater was supplied in both woolen and nylon versions. Woolen type, as seen in this example, tended to have tighter weave than previous, though older mid-70s versions were also turning up. The beret was larger to accommodate eagle eye head with a flatter profile and looks very different to fixed eye version when directly compared. The trousers had long left pockets with the press stud cap visible. Boots were short black blow moulded type. Belt was a thinner, lighter coloured khaki material than previous with no slider. The SLR now had plastic strap as standard. Note the dark coloured brown of the stock. The first issue reused previous packaging, with sticker on front, now with moving eagle eyes. The second and most common version had new and arguably the finest Action Man box packaging artwork, drawn by graphic designer Dave Barnacle. The box now had the new Polytoy logo, with the side panels lettering now in other languages besides English. Of special interest was the artwork showing Tom Stone and Atomic Man, who along with Action Man and Bullet Man were members of the Action Man team, the Palitoy take on the Hasbro G.I. Joe adventure team. Paperwork included Star Awards card L513 in 1977 and L160 in 1978. Gripping Hands Instruction Leaflet L575 and Eagle Eyes Leaflet L406 in 1977 and Combined Gripping Hands Eagle Eyes Leaflet L487 in 1978. Also included the 1977 Equipment Manual and the following year the 1978 version. 
Thanks for tuning in. If I've got anything wrong or missed anything out, comment section below.